Scott, an Uber driver in Australia is no longer with us. My heart goes out to you, Scott, and your family, uh, to all Australian drivers. We support you. We are with you. You are extended family. We love you. We care about you, right? And this is just BS here once again that Uber is putting these low-life thugs in our cars, right? In this case, these are two teens. How do two teens, Gus Fulton, the head of safety at Uber, how do two teens get into our car? They charged with murder after missing Queensland Uber driver is found dead. Uber driver Scott Cabri last Tuesday should have been another routine day on the job, picking up a party of three in the early hours. Police will allege that uh, a robbery was attempted of that male Uber driver, which unfortunately escalated. Police finding his blue Nissan X-Trail later that day burnt out west of Pacific Haven. Friends and family reporting the 47-year-old missing and after days of waiting, a devastating discovery. Investigators finding Scott's remains near a boat ramp at Howard. It's an absolute tragic circumstance where this gentleman goes to work um, as an Uber driver and doesn't get to go home. Uber now assisting with the investigation. Scott's family is heartbroken, telling Nine News he was a wonderful guy who would do anything for them and they can't possibly comprehend how this could happen. Former customers and friends today in disbelief. Yeah, just a good all-round bloke, you know. Yeah, it's just horrible. He's just too, was too young and just, a, you know, a good guy. Police have charged two people, an 18-year-old man and a 17-year-old boy, with murder. The older of the two, Ty Wayne Porter, appearing before a Harvey Bay magistrate today. He'll stay behind bars until the matter returns to court in April. And you've got two teens charged with murder, and this is after what has been a month of madness in this state. And is it any wonder why people are just asking, how on earth did we get here? Yeah. Ask us, Faulkner. Now, that third person police allege was in the group that Scott Cabri went to pick up. They are not a suspect, but police are speaking with him as a part of their ongoing investigation. As for that 17-year-old, their matter is due to be heard in the Harvey Bay Children's Court. And tomorrow, media will be applying to sit in and report on proceedings. Lock him up for good. Right. And again, our hearts go out to Australia and the, the man here, ladies and gentlemen, not only the CEO of Uber, but also the head of safety here, Gus Faulkner, you are failing drivers worldwide because you are not doing anything. And ladies and gentlemen, please look him up on Twitter. Right. Go and tweet the story to uh, DKOS, D-K-H-O-S, to Dara Koshashawi, to Gus Faulkner, look him up on Twitter and say, Wake up. Wake up. Drivers deserve safety in Australia, in America, in any country. Right. This man is doing nothing. I've reported on him before. He has no background, zero background uh, on safety. You know, he knows nothing. He bought his position by becoming an investor. He is failing us. He's incompetent and he needs to leave. Right, ladies and gentlemen, your comments do share and go after them. Expose this fool, right? Put put some professionals in place, please, Uber, right? So that we have some faith and confidence in your company that is run by professionals and not fools. Thank you.